In 1987, in Kirkwood, Missouri, Ken and Linda Rosenthal, along with their mother, not their real mom, a sourdough starter from San Francisco, opened the St. Louis Bread Company. It was a smash hit, so much so that it was purchased by Aubin bon Pan. Aubin bon Pan changed the name to Panera, which is uh, Latin for like bread basket, which is hilarious because the bread basket region of America is Missouri. Today, we're eating everything from Panera. As always, Eat the Menu is brought to you by Keith's Chicken sauce, burger sauce, taco sauce, and now also hot chicken sauce. You can get yourself some right now through the link in the description. It's delicious, it's not too hot, except for the one that is. Let's eat the menu. We're gonna start out with the wraps, breakfast stuff. There's a lot of breakfast stuff. The bacon, scrambled egg, and tomato wrap. Maybe this is not the bacon one. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Good old fashioned swippy whoopy. The bacon, egg, and tomato wrap. It uh, has quite an interesting lettuce choice for breakfast. Uh, I'm gonna eat it from right here as to get the best experience. Flavor is actually quite good. The bacon sings, tomatoes there. Kind of tastes like a BLT, but it's sopping wet. Way wetter than it should be, and the you know the lettuce is wildly wilted and gross. I didn't pick up the egg at all. Maybe I didn't get any egg. I guess I'll do a bite like this just to get. The egg doesn't help the experience, and also this is a hilarious style of tomato for a wrap. You do you, Panera. The Chipotle chicken scrambled egg and avocado wrap. Let's try it. Maybe it's because I'm starving, but I quite like it. The chicken is fairly soft, the egg is quite soft, the avocado is soft, so everything in it is soft, but the flavors are quite loud and present. I don't taste the egg, I, I feel the egg. I hate wraps, and I didn't hate those, so that's pretty good, I guess. Well, those wraps turned out to be all they were wrapped up to be, but joining me for the next section of breakfast sandwiches is my favorite sandwich of a man, Jared Popkin! Woo! Papa's home, what? bitch is back. Wow, look at you. Brought myself a chair. You look good. Thanks, I'm ready to chef it up. I feel like I've been a baker my whole life. Well, yesterday was 420. I was baked forever. I was baking it up. I was high at work for a TikTok. It made work hard. <laughs> this is the bacon, egg, and cheese on ciabatta. Looks a little bit more like a sourdough loaf to me. Yeah. Let's try it. It's the bacon, egg, and cheese on ciabatta. On ciabatta. I feel like I'm in San Francisco looking at the pink ladies. Mm-hmm. Is that the name of those houses? Or just the girl squad in Greece? Yeah, I think it's painted ladies. The painted ladies. It's a little chewy for a breakfast sandwich, which is maybe not desired, but I do think the bread is good. The bread's really good. I think it's chewy because there's more bread than there is of anything yeah, inside yeah, I mean, of it. Look at it. Yeah. Let's move on to the scrambled egg and cheese on ciabatta. No bacon. Okay, this is just egg and cheese and bread. This seems like a boring <laughs> offering. <laughs> egg and cheese and bread. Let's try it. That's boring. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> so here's the first sandwich we had on a brioche. So if we were like, oh, the bread was too much, this is your answer there. Oh. Oh, you nailed that. Oh. Uh, let's try <laughs> the bacon, egg, and cheese on brioche. Burger sauce is the breakfast sandwich sauce. Dab me out. There's a breakfast sandwich saver right there. This is the same, man, they have every version of the same sandwich here. This is the bacon scrambled egg and cheese on brioche. So the same thing we just had. But scrambled. But scrambled. It smells really good. They make good food at Panera. The bacon. Quality. <laughs> I want, is there a sandwich that we haven't had yet? <laughs> I feel like we eat. <laughs> hey, Jared, remember that sandwich that sucked? Yeah. <laughs> well, here it is again. I'm just gonna start with burger sauce. Here we go. The burger sauce is literally the only fun part of the sandwich. It's like eating a spoon. <laughs> it's like a spoon with whatever was on the spoon is the flavor that you're getting. <laughs> this is the normal fried egg and cheese. I don't think I said that we ate the scrambled egg and cheese on Rioche a second ago, but we did. We did. Now we're having it fried. I'm going right for the middle of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's better than nothing. <laughs> Less bad. <laughs> Less boring. It's time for sausage. Oh, this We're looks getting fun. into Flavor Town. Bring me there, baby. Call Guy Fieri. The sausage, scrambled egg, and brioche, and also cheese sandwich. What a wacky sausage. Isn't that a weird? <laughs> what is that? It tastes like the frozen section of a grocery store. We, got, we brought in Flavor Town, we called Guy Fieri. <laughs> that was my mistake. <laughs> Let's try it on the brioche. Okay. The sausage, egg, and cheese on brioche. Here we go. 
Honestly, it's better than the one we just had. Mm -hmm. There's the more egg, things. The, yeah, it's more texture. The, the brioche has more flavor mm -hmm. than the other bread. Mm -hmm. The egg, like this, has the most flavor of the egg. So I think the perfect version of this is the fried egg, bacon, cheese on brioche. I agree. I didn't realize it until now, but that's what this was all about. That's what this was fine. <laughs> All the breakfast sandwiches are just lightly different from one another, so really it was which is which which of the nine, eight, however many there are, should you get? And we did it for you, we found it. We figured it out. Well, Jerry, what's going on with you? I've got a bunch of stuff. If you want to know, just go follow me. Check me out. Make sure you follow Jared. Jared, thanks so much for coming on and trying a lot of the same sandwich. Thanks for eating all my food that I cooked. Yeah, you did a really good job back Thank there. You, so you gotta much. hit the kitchen again though, right? Yeah, time to go. Gotta cut more food for you and your guests. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Bye, Jared. <laughs> now on to the, what's next? Parfraise fruit cups and oatmeal. Let's hit it. The summer fruit cup. This is what you order when you want to use the free Wi-Fi. You can make this last a long time. It's cheap, it's healthy, it's sweet. Gives you a little burst of energy. Let's try the steel cut oatmeal with strawberries and pecans. Here, let's get ourselves a nice, perfect bite. I don't eat oatmeal, don't love oatmeal, so let's try their oatmeal. I still don't like oatmeal. It tastes like sweet burgers. What do you think, Nick? Oatmeal? Oatmeal guy or no? I am an oatmeal guy. What do you think it tastes like sweet burgers? Guests of the show, <laughs> drop it in for a bite. Thoughts? Thank you. He's a food critic, so you can really trust his opinion over mine. A, one, a question I bet the world has is, do my boogers taste like your boogers? Everyone's like, oh, that's gross. Yeah, but your boogers and your mouth are already connected. Anyhow, we're gonna try the parfait. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, I was like, I can't. There's <laughs> some sort of barrier. Let's try this. It's got craisins, granola, and yogurt, and also what look like little roasted pepitas. That is Cheap yogurt. Really bright, really sour. But the granola's good. I would say go for the fruit cup, and then go for the yogurt, and then pick your own boogers instead. <laughs> We're on our way to the next section, which is pastries and such. Wow, look at all these, these are fun. Hold on, look at the, can we just take a moment? These actually look pretty good. Let's start with this one. It's got its own little box. Vanilla cinnamon roll. I like it, and it does taste like a vanilla cinnamon roll. It tastes like daddy cake, which you may not understand. My parents will, which was a specific kind of coffee cake that my dad bought from the grocery store. And it was just a simple coffee cake, but we, because my dad liked it the most, and when we were children we called him daddy, we referred to it as daddy cake. So this tastes like daddy cake. The blueberry scone. Mm, good buttery taste. I don't really taste the blueberries. I'm not from England. So I don't know what a good scone is, but I like it. The cranberry orange muffin. It smells way too sweet. It tastes more like a lemon cake to me. It's got that bright acidity of a lemon cake. Maybe that's from the craisins itself with the cranberries. Let's try this. This looks wacky. Orange scone. What's the taste? too subtle. I didn't pick up the blueberry flavor and the blueberry scones. This tastes like orange, and they have like candied orange rind in the frosting. Kind of sophisticated. I think Amon Pan had a hand in that. Pretty good. Let's try this thing though. This thing's been looking at me. The pecan braid. It's sort of like a braided croissant with pecans. A pecan, a pecan, pecan, pecan. Pecan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I love croissants. And this is kind of like an almond croissant. This is a different nut. But let's get into the croissant. I love a good croissant. They're light, they're flaky, they're crispy, they're amazing. It's a little bland, but not bad. I mean, the structure's great. It's, it's way better than the Starbucks one. Oh my God! <laughs> this is not a traditional approach to a, a chocolate croissant. It looks like if a monster had like a happy smile at first, and then halfway through the movie, it reveals its evil smile. Like it is so scary. <coughs> I just inhaled powdered sugar. I knew it was gonna happen at some point. Ah, it's like the anthrax of sweeteners. Let's try this. It's actually not too sweet. It's a good dark chocolate. I like these pastries. I'm impressed. This is going great for me so far. All right, let's try the bear claws. It's a little dry. I don't really like the look of that. I don't know if that's traditional. I don't get a lot of bear claws. Dip it in a cup of coffee and I'll probably eat it. 
the blueberry muffin. I used to get this when I would go to a Barnes and Noble. It smells like cake. It's boring. And the other muffin was so much better. We forgot the chocolate chip muffin. I assume it's a muffin top because it's missing its muffin bottom. Maybe it's called a muffy. Is it called a muffy, Alexandria? Do you know if this is called a muffy? Oh yeah, chocolate chip muffy. It's a little muffy. Let's try it. I don't know what to tell you. I can't grade it as a muffin. I can't grade it as a cookie. It, it's perfectly in between the two. Um, sure. Okay. I like it. I like it because it's fun. But I, it's not for Keith. It's not a Keith fave. But if you're a chocolate chip cookie gal and you <coughs> aren't allowed to have cookies in the morning, this is a good sort of sort of pop, you know, it's sort of a little um, what's it called? Like a loophole. Loophole. <laughs> Very good, Jonathan. <laughs> Very good. You and the rest of the Muffy. <laughs> but it's time to try the bagels. And to come help me judge these bagels is New York native Zach Kornfeld. Oh. I'm a bagel, I'm a bagel. <laughs> I'm a bagel, I'm a bagel. I knew there were gonna be some costumes today. I did not even know there was a bagel costume. And you forgot your costume, I Keith. did, I know, I forgot about it. I, they told me there was a costume. I gotta dress up really quick Ugh. as a Panera employee. I met a drunk fan the other day who was like, man, you gotta talk to Keith. You gotta try and get on with Eat the Menu. So here I am for you, drunk fan. I did it, I made it. Do I look better? Yeah, you looked stupid before. <laughs> yeah, I feel better now. Oh, smell that. Now? <laughs> it's pungent. That's a bag of Whoa, bagels. Oh my god, there are some flavors that don't work together in there. <laughs> the cinnamon raisin and parmesan mix is, is wild. The smell <laughs> of elementary school vomit. Wow, incredible. I you gotta hit it. it again. Whoa, that is awful. <laughs> Such a big hole for a bagel. I can do three fingers, maybe four. Panera's, I can do four. I can do all five fingers. Panera's fistable bagels. <laughs> Let's try the cinnamon raisin bagel. Doink. Doink. Not bad. It's fine. It's dense. Um, you're kind of fighting against it to chew it. This is why I made this on Without a Recipe. This is a Panera bagel. You know what I'm talking about? I didn't grow up in New York. I grew up in places with Panera. I had only had Panera bagels. Cinnamon raisin bagels, pretty good. I was like, yeah, that must be a good choice. How'd that work out? It didn't. It didn't work out well. I got fourth place. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. You got robbed. No. This is just raisin? No, it must no be chocolate. Way. It's chocolate. I don't know whether to be outraged or concerned. It smells like a cookie shop. Am I putting cream cheese on this? I'm going plain. Let's try the chocolate chip bagel. Okay. Slaps. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the type of sweetness I want with bread. It's very sweet. In fact, it's hard to have more than a bite. Ooh, yeah, it's turning on me. Yeah, I've, I've... <laughs> it's so much sugar in my bagel. Let's do this. This one's stupid looking. It's not a bagel. It doesn't appear to be a bagel. Bagels needs to have a hole. Ready for my bar mitzvah. Oh, dude, hell yeah. Ooh. Wow, I get it now. Mazel tov. I get it. And now I'm gonna eat the bagel that was sitting on my hair. Yeah, sprouted grain bagel flat. What do you think? Oh. You think it's ah. good? Oh, health food should not be a punishment. I don't care for it. Oh, boy, oh boy. Oh, it's, you really taste the grain. The f out of here. It kind of tastes like a Lunchables made a bagel. Jalapeno cheddar bagel. It smells absolutely out of control. This definitely was one of the ones contributing to that weird vomit smell. Uh, counselor, I'm gonna abstain. Yeah, I understand. I'll try it by myself. I'll go ahead and put this one in back in the share bucket. And this oh, one. is that a share bucket? Because I've been using that as trash. I know. <laughs> there's some trash and there's some share. I bet that's gonna be a lot of flavor. You're right. <laughs> Like if nachos were a bagel. This feels like something Eugene would come up with on Without a Recipe. It does. Yeah. It really feels like a Without a Recipe idea. Like a prank. All right, let's try the blueberry texture and flavor bagel. I like this because as a child, I would get blueberry bagels with strawberry cream cheese. And this is actually not bad. The blueberries taste pretty good. This does taste like a muffin. Uh-huh. It's a muffin bagel. It's a good muffin. It's better than the blueberry muffin. If you want a blueberry muffin, get the blueberry bagel. Yeah. Let's move on to this thing. This is the cinnamon crunch bagel. Are you sure? Yeah, look at it. Wow, I thought this was um, melted Parmesan. That's cinnamon. It's caked on cinnamon. I thought I knew bagels. Guys, I'm going on a journey today. All right, let's try the cinnamon crunch bagel. <laughs> That's crazy. 
How do you imagine they make this? Do they just butter the outside and then pour a bunch uh, of cinnamon sugar on top and then bake it? This is too much flavor for even dessert. This is sweeter than any cinnamon roll I've ever had. Mm -hmm. It's like churro level sweetness. I think it's more. I was gonna say, what a wonderful stoner snack, but even high, I think I'd be like, too much. I need some pretzels. <laughs> yeah, it's a little intense, but how about a plain? A great bagel place can be judged by the quality of their plain. In fact, can you just bite into it without anything and say, yeah, that's good. Let's find out. The plain bagel. It's not bad. Honestly, the actual bagelness of this compared to the other bagels is the closest, I think, to a quote unquote good bagel. On the outside, it looks like a, a Mattel bagel. Like you, you found this in your kid's uh -huh. toy bin. Yeah. It'd be good to make a sandwich on. Let's try the sesame bagel. This is the best one yet. Mm hmm. That sesame flavor. It does a lot. It does a lot. And for whatever reason, this one has a better consistency. Mm -hmm. The outside of it is- Really light. Yeah. Really light. Quite fluffy. What if a cheese danish could be a bagel? Pass. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm gonna go right into the middle. Mm -hmm. I'm eating the most cheesy bite possible. He loves it. Is Asiago cheese good? Asiago, Asiago, Asiago. It kind of sounds like a uh, to-go sushi place. Asiago. Mm -hmm. It's not good. I really don't like it. Uh, the longer the taste sat in my mouth, the more it tasted really bad. I just think it tastes like weird cheese. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like it. And finally, the king of the bagel, the everything bagel. It doesn't look like there's everything. No, it they looks like there's two things. Let's try it. Everything. That's pretty good. It's not bad. You know, there's a little bit of like, subtraction via addition here, where there's so many little things sparse that I'm not actually tasting any of the flavors. It almost tastes like a plain bagel to me. It tastes like salt. Yeah. Mine tastes like a salt bagel. Let me try it. The only thing I couldn't see was salt. The only thing I'd taste is salt. You know one of my best friends, Ben, he has a poppy allergy, so he can't eat bagels, and he also can't smoke opium. Yeah, that sucks for him. Yeah. What about the opium dens? Can't smoke opium. I hate to admit it, but Keith, I think that the sesame is the best of the bunch. I think you're right. Yeah. Uh, especially out of this batch. I think you can get your hand in there, like a bracelet. Yeah. Yeah, if you can wear your bagel as a bracelet, the hole's too big. The hole's too big. Well, okay. Zach, what's going on with you? What's new? Um, I have a YouTube channel called The Try Guys. Go check it out. Be sure to subscribe. We do new videos sometimes. And uh, by the time this comes out, it will have been a while since this other thing came out, but you just made a really wonderful podcast episode about the pandemic, how it affects uh, disabled people, how they're affected much more differently, how just society as a whole doesn't take care of them. And if you missed that podcast episode, I really think you should go watch it. It's a really good piece of journalism from us uh, as a company. And I think uh, you and Miles and Rainey put it together a really great product. I wondered why I was doing this at all. And the answer was, well, okay, you know, this is our job. But I'm like, but, but is it, isn't at a certain point, life and safety more important than like keeping a company running? Society as a whole. I just, it's hard for me to promote something so serious while wearing a bagel costume. Uh, that's why I <laughs> took, just took the wheel there. I appreciate it. <laughs> Next up is salads, and joining me at the Eat the Menu table stage is a regular now, Jonathan, but for the first time ever, the head of Second Try's HR department, Ronald, is here. Hey! hey Ronald. How's everybody doing? <laughs> doing great. We have another channel called Second Try, and there was a really wonderful piece put together by both of you, mm -hmm. uh, sort of about some of the things that we've only Almost produced, but haven't quite produced. As always, you can follow me on Pinterest and TikTok. Pinterest is your main. Oh, I'm big on Pinterest. That yeah. and the uh, the the one that Trump made. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that, all right. Well, let's move on to the salad. <laughs> the citrus Asian salad with chicken. I'll give you a bite here in one second, Ronald. Okay. I'm getting hungry. Keith. I know you are. Come on. <laughs> okay, man. that's enough. Okay, all right. let's try the salad. You go wrong. Mm. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. mm, yum, yum, yum. It's very salty. I think the flavor is actually pretty yeah. good. I love that it's dark meat chicken. Mm, really yeah. didn't expect that from mm -hmm. a chain like this, but the chicken is really good. Yeah, well, normally you, like yeah, these. Sorry, Ronald, Jonathan, if you Ronald, let me Sorry, no, I was finish. talking first. Ronald. If you let me finish, Ronald, but the I thighs, speak? the thighs are often the juiciest part of the chicken. Yeah. Well, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> hey, let's move on to. Yeah, the, let's move on. Let's move on to the Greek salad. <laughs> you spent some time in fraternities, right? Oh yeah, I was in the all puppet fraternity at UCUSC. 
<laughs> yeah, what was that what, one Sorry, which, which college? Which it's at, U, at UNC, USNC. U U S N C. U S N C. U S N C. Yeah, what? it was a, uh, a fraternity where we do all the normal stuff like hazing and beating the shit out of our uh, pledges. That sounds. Keith, like... I, were you in a fraternity or you were you sort of sexless in college? Jonathan definitely was. I um, was sort of sexless in most of college. That's I mean, nice. That's good. Yeah. Uh, not on. me though. No, not you. Okay, we're gonna try. I this. got it Wait. from all angles. You'd so anyway, uh, this salad, uh, what salad is this? This is the Greek salad. This is the Greek salad. It looks okay. like a pretty decent Greek salad. Okay. Um, cheers. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Keith, if you could feed me mm -hmm. a little bite. Mm. Yeah. Your table manners are, um, I would say, idiosyncratic. Well, I believe in being yourself, no matter who you are. Mm -hmm. People might call you a pervert, people might be weird to you, but I don't know if, if, if being you and getting called a pervert is a good thing to convey to our audience. Well, this salad is, um, <clears throat> it's, it, it's not as good as the first one. It's not as good as the first yeah. one, there, but it's like a pretty satisfactory Greek salad. Hey, you you hey, have hey, no, hey. yeah, what's up bud? Sorry, I, you're stabbing yourself in the eye, are I you know. okay? <laughs> My arms, I, I'm a little, you, getting a little exhausted. I, <laughs> Let me adjust my, uh, my chiropractic. Sure, go ahead. Okay. Take a moment. Um, <laughs> oh my God. I don't know if we're supposed to see this. Much better. Um, That's nice, okay. Wow, okay. Um, So the next is the green goddess Cobb salad Ooh, with chicken. The okay. green goddess mm. Cobb salad. This really looks like a fancy salad chain. This is um, great. It's mm. breast meat chicken. Oh, Sorry. did somebody say breast? Okay, um, it's pretty good. I think it, it's a very filling, <laughs> protein heavy salad. <laughs> and it's good. And the dressing is pretty good too. Did you ever been there? I don't know why that is a good idea. Why should we It's really it? hard to describe salads. <laughs> Look at these apples. <laughs> Look at them apples, man. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that. I knew he was gonna right, say that. We got the Fuji apple salad. The Fuji happy salad. Fuji <laughs> apple Fuji salad. Apple salad. Chicken. This is a very, like, that kind of looks like toaster strudel frosting, the dressing. It looks like something, that's for sure. <laughs> but it, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought this was an internet show. <laughs> it is an internet show, but I try to limit the use of words like to a minimum. The Fuji apple chicken salad. Not a fan of blue cheese. Miraculously, I didn't get any in that bite. So I'm still happy. Like, I'm gonna it's quit while I'm ahead. a wet salad, Ronald. Um, Ronald. <laughs> Ronald's a wet salad. Ronald. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't, God damn it. I don't love the salad. Um, the, the apples are so dry, but the flavors are otherwise pretty okay. And I think maybe there's just too many loud flavors going on. Yeah. Now this one looks ridiculous. Now Ronald, you went strawberry picking recently. I think yeah, me and uh, Jared Leto went strawberry picking. Uh, really? Yeah, I was a key grip on Morbius. Yeah. What are what are some of your uh, what are some of your recent credits, Ronald? Oh yeah. Well, I was in everything all the time. This the is film. the um, strawberry poppy seed salad, which explains the dressing. It's not dragon food. It's poppy. Seed. In Euphoria, I I got the. I hate this. The conversation or the salad? The salad. Okay. Because it, it's just a bunch of root on a bed of lettuce. It's two different salads. And there's like, maybe it'll work together. What if we took a Caesar and a fruit salad and just made it into a salad? You want to yeah. try it? Yeah, let, no. let me get my fork in there. Yeah, your fork in there. Mm hmm There you go. There you go, buddy. Hey. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, pretty good salad, huh? Really good. Yeah, I didn't like it, but maybe it's better for public you know, palate. Seems you know. good for me. Oh, I forgot that um, every salad comes with a piece of bread. Oh, should we take have a little bread moment yeah, here? Have a little bread moment. Here you go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. Snick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Delicious. All right, we're gonna move on to the Asian with sesame the salad with chicken. That's a sesame oil based dressing. I like sesame oil, so I like it, but. Yeah, it's not bad. Very one note. Mm -hmm. Let's try the, uh, the barbecue chicken salad. Wowza. It tastes like barbecue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me in there. <laughs> Yum. 
I really like it. No. I could it's eat. It's not a salad. That's definitely day. not a salad. It eats like a plate of barbecue. <laughs> yeah, it feels like a sandwich. Yeah, I got you your own Caesar this, see, salad. That's my that's, own. Yeah, I got you your very own. Jonathan and I will try the Caesar salad with chicken. But I'm gonna give you the plane. Now you're trying to watch watch your waistline. Yo, Mickey, the and chicken like, Caesar salad. Make sure you get some. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, it's got a lot of kick. That's, That's got a bite. That's a good Caesar dressing. Much zestier than I was expecting. Um, kind of like the way Ronald was eating. So what kind of projects are you guys working on nowadays? So, Do anything to promote? So uh, Ronald and I. Uh, I'll take this one, Jonathan. So Jonathan and I have been working on the talk show. What Ronald and I have created together uh, is a talk show that uh, attempts to really just really kind of just like get closer, closer yeah. to people that we think we know. Getting closer, it's on second try. Go check it out. Getting it up. How do you get it up in this industry? Okay, we gotta move on, but thanks for dropping by, guys. Make sure you follow both of these guys. Bye! are on screen right now, and we'll see you guys later. Follow me! Yeah. Well, fill me up with cereal and milk, because it's time for some bowls. <laughs> the teriyaki chicken broccoli bowl. Look at teriyaki. I don't know how to describe it. Sweet, vaguely Asian, broccoli's there, and the chicken is not as good in this context as it was before. Maybe I just try just the chicken bite. Chicken tastes like the little bite of chicken you get from the Chinese restaurant in the food court, where one bite of it's amazing, but somehow a bowl of it's horrible. Let's try the Mediterranean bowl. It looks beige. This kind of looks well composed. Smells Mediterranean. Mediterranean bowl. Let's try it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Woo! Some in there was salty. Could use a little lemon. It's pretty good. I think that's a really good vegetarian option. The hummus tastes pretty good. The vegetables are nice. Let's try the Baja bowl. Baja bowl with chicken. Will my mouth have a Baja blast? Panera. You dirty dog. <laughs> that's good. It's spicy. That green sauce is spicy. That tastes like a good Chipotle adjacent product. Hey, wait a minute. How about we have it without chicken? The vegetarian Baja bowl. <laughs> well, first of all, it looks like somebody ate some of it. You know what actually looks like, like happened? Is that they put chicken in and they took it out. We'll never know. Let's try it. Mmm, it's still good. It doesn't need the chicken. The flavors are... There, this is flavorful. Let's try. <laughs> We're back at the breakfast sandwiches, people. This is the Mediterranean <laughs> bowl with chicken. <laughs> There's only three different products. I mean, I know what it tastes like. <laughs> it's gonna taste exactly like the other one. Mediterranean bowl with chicken this time. We you know why I take it back. It's better with the chicken. It's time to get a little loopy with a few soupies. <laughs> And joining me for the soups is my wife, Becky Habersberger. Hey, how's it going? It's good. I'm getting full, but you know, holding strong. Bread bowl, bread bowl. Bread they look bowl. like little Legend of Zelda bombs. Favorite. I used to love the broccoli cheddar soup yeah. from Panera, so I think we should start there. All right, wow. Well, that looks good. I'm gonna hold it like this. The broccoli cheese soup in a bread bowl. Do right. it, yes, do it. Do mm. I'll go in. That's good. Oh, wow, that's good. That is so good. That's like nostalgia in a bread bowl. Mm. What I like about broccoli cheese soup is it doesn't taste like broccoli. It doesn't taste like cheese. It tastes like broccoli, broccoli cheese. cheese soup. It has its own unique flavor. Let's go for the Whoa. creamy tomato soup in a bread bowl. It looks like spaghetti sauce. It smells like it. Tastes like it. It would actually be pretty good with some noodles. Are you one of those people that <laughs> at the end of a plate of spaghetti, you lick your plate? Mm. This is the soup for you. The Mexican street corn chowder in a bread bowl. Wow, whoa, it smells crazy. It's Mexican mm. corn chowder, mm -hmm. which is what it is. I don't really like it. No, I would dip a chip in it. Mm -hmm. I take this soup and pour it over chips and add guacamole and say it's nachos. <laughs> if, you've, if you've just never eaten Mexican food, met any Mexican person, and honestly, if you couldn't point out Mexico on a map, you would think that that tastes good. I'd be very surprised. It's the closest place. <laughs> All right, this is the bistro French onion soup. Blah. That doesn't travel It looks well. like the onions have reabsorbed the entire soup <laughs> in here. It is a bit gelatinous. Um, normally soup can't stand on its side. This one can. The bread has drank 
all the soup up. All the broth is in the bread. I'm gonna have to eat the bread to try the soup. So I'm gonna put some onions on the bread. Becky, you can juice it to get some of the broth. <laughs> Let's see if that works. Yeah, see if you squeeze it. I'll catch it. Oh, it's like one of those games. It's almost doing it. Put it oh, in yeah, the, it's like an old flash the, game. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. There's the soup. And then, oh, on your shirt. Oh, they right. Ronald and already then. had his way with the shirt. <laughs> the puppet? Uh-huh. Ground fryer. The puppet? That little hoe. <laughs> I don't like it. And I think the cheese is wrong. The cheese looks like it's a melted cheddar. That's what actually tastes that oniony. It tastes like the memory of an onion. It tastes not good. Yeah. It tastes burned. Like a LaCroix, <laughs> LaCroix onion. It's onion. the essence of LaCroix onion. LaCroix French onion soup. Yeah. Home style chicken noodle. There's Ooh. the soup. Hey, this one actually, look, there's broth. Oh yeah, there it is. I don't know why you'd get chicken noodle soup in a bread bowl though. You know what I mean? I feel like that's an odd, <laughs> an odd choice. Chicken noodle soup. Well, broth's kind of flavorful. But look at how much bread it's a bit like, dry. It's very little <laughs> soup. This experience is, do you want Wet bread. Yeah. Flavored wet bread. Which I think there's a market for. It's wet bread. It's wet bread. Wet bread. Wet breads. Wet bread. Panera's new line Panera. of wet breads. The chicken and wild rice. Cream of chicken and wild rice oh. soup. Another creamy soup ought to be good. Let's try it. Whoa, I didn't expect that flavor. Um, not bad. Not good. This is oh. the Thai chicken soup. I think Panera needs to stay in its lane. <laughs> I don't think anyone, any of the chefs at Panera have been to Thailand. Whoa, this smells like curry though. That's a totally different, totally different flavor. Thai chicken soup. Okay. If you've never had Thai food, Thai food and you've never met a Thai person and you can't point to Thailand on a map, that's the soup for you. But it actually feels like it lands closer to a Japanese curry. Yeah. Like the brown thick curries. It does have a strong flavor. Mm -hmm. It's just not a really good flavor. Uh, let's move into the mac and cheeses. White cheddar, mac and cheese. We got the shell, Ooh. sorry. Flicked it right <laughs> at you. Sorry, I flicked some soup at you. We got some nice some short elbows. Shells. Sort of short elbows. In between shells and elbows, I like that. Let's go. That's pretty good. That is good. Wow. Oh, that's fast food mac. Good. That's a, it's creamy. It might could use a little black pepper or a little cayenne pepper. Maybe a little chicken mm. sauce. There's something to give it a little more. I'm gonna put a, just a tap, not a lot, just a dab. A little bit. I think it needs just a, a little, little bit. zazz. Sometimes you like too much flavor. Sometimes you need to calm it down. I'm just putting a single drop on a single dish. Good You've gotta promote the hot sauce here. I am. No, you aren't. You literally just pulled the food away from the hot sauce. <laughs> I didn't this, want we this. both make money off of it. <laughs> I didn't what are you doing? Want the, it's chicken sauce. This is mac and cheese. It, There's no chicken in it. it it's a hot sauce. Mmm. Mm. That is so good. I would bring that to someone's house and be like, I made it myself. Velveeta E. Mm -hmm. The broccoli cheddar mac and cheese. You can have too much of a good thing. Yeah. Mm -mm. They should keep them separate. Uh huh. Broccoli does not work. No one wants broccoli mm -hmm. in their mac and cheese. What do you like the best, the mac and cheese? The mac and cheese. I can't believe anything took my love from the broccoli cheddar soup. I think it's really good. I do think it needs just a pinch of pepper. Well, Becky, what's going on with you, huh? You know, not much, hmm. but yesterday was 420. Yes. So just a good reminder to everyone to call your senators, call your local government officials, mm -hmm. and let them know we should legalize marijuana and also expunge some records. Yeah. Maybe if you're watching this video, just boop, boop, boop. Go, go type it in on the internet. Definitely. There's definitely yeah. people who are incarcerated for total bullshit reasons, and there's legalization, even in states where it is fully Legalized, there's still people in jail for it uh -huh. from before, and that's stupid. And that's yep. stupid. <laughs> that's what we have to say about that. Get him, Becky! Yeah! Get him, okay. Becky! Let's have fun! Thanks, Becky! Enjoy your soup! Thank you! It's time for the sandwiches. The big show, as they say. Joining me for the sandwiches is a big show boat in my life. <laughs> Alex Lewis! Muffin hands! Oh, you got muffins in your hands. That's Chocolate right. Chip. Well, it's time for everyone's favorite segment, Keith. Alex brought some cookies to the all you can eat, eating the menu time. You brought muffins? I did. It smells chocolatey. Let's try it. I don't love it. <laughs> but I don't like chocolate chip stuff that much. Well, your wife liked it when I was getting my shirt from her house. It really sounds dirty. It does, and I she did the, like it. I think the bread of it should be sweeter. Here's the problem with it. It feels like I'm supposed to be eating a cupcake, but, but it actually is a correct muffin sweetness. 
but it doesn't make sense to me eating it because of the amount of chocolate that it's not a cupcake. Like, it, I, my brain's like, why isn't this just a cupcake? Well, it's time for sandwiches, and there's two boxes on top that say they're bursting with flavor. So let's find out. This one's called the spicy take, and that one's called the signature take. Yeah, let's start spicy, yeah, and hopefully we'll work our way down to mild. Get the pain out of the way. Get the pain out of the way. What? Look at this, wow! Whoa. Oh my! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are they trying to compete with Chick-fil-A right now and uh, Bennigan's, not Bennigan's, Popeyes? Is that what? <laughs> and Bennigan's? <laughs> what about Bennigan's? Well, this is a grilled chicken breast. Oh. But I think they are probably trying to enter the chicken sandwich arena. Oh, please. Panera, I'm sorry, but who do you think you are? The spicy take. It's not spicy at all. Mm -hmm. There's a little heat on the end of my, that first bite I had, but there's not a lot of sauce. It's not like the Popeye spicy chicken sandwiches that are sauced to, to death. They're really spicy. They're good, but damn. Yeah, it's totally a good grilled chicken sandwich. But now look at this. Oh no. The signature take is crazy looking compared to the, the spicy take. It's got lettuce. What is going on with this rubber chicken? What? What's your problem? I fell in love with chicken sandwiches on the Popeye's episode of yes, Eat the Menu. Yes, of course. Of course. And for other chicken sandwiches to get into the arena, it's like, how are you bringing me this? Okay, well, That's it's their saying. own take, but I understand how you, how you feel. Let's try it. That's not bad. <laughs> it's actually not terrible. They're pretty good. I think this is actually really good. Yeah, it is pretty good. This one definitely is better. The, you know, they, they crushed it the first time with the original. Can I try this with one of the sauces? Let me try it with a burger sauce if I could. Because I'm a good wife. Mm -hmm. And I promote Keith's sauce. Yeah. Becky. <laughs> Am I in a some kind of weird three-way relationship with Becky and Keith? It's more of a Who knows? three, two-way relationship. Right, I'm cheating on both of you with each other. Uh -huh. You gonna do this? You gonna do this? I'm just gonna watch. It's your own sauce. I'm full. You cuck. <laughs> Full. That's good. The bacon turkey bravo. Ooh, I remember that. Bravo. I used to get this sandwich. Why is the bread red? <laughs> Tomato basil bread. Oh. Fine. Tomato basil sandwich bread. Sandwich construction is awful. Yeah, this doesn't look the appealing. The chicken isn't in the right spot. Cheese. This cheese also, my cheese is missing a quarter of its body. That, I have you it. Know. I have it. You want I it? guess if this was all my sandwich, it would end up working out. Let's try <laughs> the tomato basil bread on the turkey broccoli bravo. Yeah, I kind of like it. It's not as good as I remember. The bread is a little too thick. I agree. It's also kind of strange to have a bread flavored like something that's not a bread. It's weird, but it's not bad, and I think it's fun. You know, it's better than an airport sandwich. Well, <laughs> that's true. The avocado turkey. Roasted turkey avocado BLT. Roasted turkey avocado BLT. So the R-T-A-B-L-T. The rat butt BLT? Yeah, the rat BLT. <laughs> the rat BLT. The rat BLT, let's try it. Ooh, it's got avocado. This is a name. We just said it like four times. I did. Then we abbreviated it. I forgot. It tastes really boring, huh? Yeah. It doesn't taste like anything. All I taste is the mayo. I taste water. The flavor is dull. The bacon's also terrible. Like a crayon that you pick up and you can't draw a thin line with it. Yeah, try to draw with this bacon. You it's not gonna happen. You can't do it. Oh, that looks like tuna to me. It is. Oh. You nailed it. I gotta tell you, I think it's a bad idea to put tuna salad in such a thick bread because you know the tuna salad's gonna just goop out the sides as soon as I bite into it. Uh, Look at the amount of salt. Yeah. Is this, is your, <laughs> do you see the amount of salt I'm supposed to eat in my first oh bite my of this God. sandwich? I'm gonna spread it out. Spread it out a little bit. Um, I don't love tuna salad. <laughs> I don't love tuna salad. Let's try it. I feel like focaccia bread is the last bread I would ever think to put a tuna salad on. So much salt on my bread. I think if you like tuna, you'll find this totally satisfying. If Huey were here, he'd be loving it. Yeah, I think you're right. Huey's a big tuna sandwich here. boy. Here, Huey, you wanna try it? Oh. <laughs> we have a, a, Louis Rock on the new Lou Burger shirt over here. Pretty cool. Only available in person at our shows. <laughs> so, gotta come see us live and buy a shirt. I'm sorry, why does it say grilled mac and cheese? <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> wow, this is Becky's dream. <laughs> this is insane. She loves both of these things independently. This is genius. Let's try the grill mac and cheese. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty delicious. That's hilarious. I think I like it better just as mac and cheese. But I guess if you're, you really want mac and cheese and you're driving a car, <laughs> 
This is kind of a good way to get there. Or if you're on a city bus, I just want to be the guy eating a mac and cheese sandwich in the back of a city bus. Oh, I'd be so mad if somebody was eating a mac and cheese sandwich in the back of a bus and right I was sat there. And you were like squished up against oh. him. Hey man, you want to buy my sandwich? No. You sure it's good, it's mac and cheese. No. Mm. Anyway, when's your stop? Uh, I, I'm off in like 10. Are you getting off at Lake? Yeah. I'm getting off at Lake, where are you going? I'm going to the concert tonight. Hey, let's walk together, I'm going to the concert too. No, I, I think it's a different concert. Yeah, it's only one concert tonight. Beyonce. Ah, oh, that is the concert. Yeah, I'm excited for it. Well, I'm in the pit, so there's no way we're gonna I'm in the pit. GA? Ah, oh, we could sit next to each other, buddy. Oh. You sure don't want to bite of the sandwich? I don't want to bite of the sandwich. Okay, well, it's gonna be a long day for us. We're gonna get some real trouble. Did you also have a tuna sandwich? I did. Oh. <laughs> Still in my pocket. Oh, why is it there? <laughs> Next up, we've got the Mediterranean veggie. What a disappointing downstep from the mac and that. cheese sandwich. Ugh. Ugh. I don't like vegetable sandwiches. Mediterranean sandwich vegetables. I'm just saying, feta cheese between bread looks like something bad is coming up. Yuck. Oh, I hate vegetable sandwiches. Well, oh. There's like a weird B.O. aftertaste. And the, oh, it's the red onions. Mm. I really feel like I just like licked your armpit. You're a lucky boy. <laughs> John. That's a kinky boy over here. A little armpit liquor. The next up we've got, ooh, this sounds all right. The Chipotle chicken avocado milk. And look, it's all congealed and jello-y on top. There you Yuck. go. Yuck. Yuck. See that? You're really coming in with a hateful mindset. I, it's not. You gotta Can give it the best something? chance. You gotta start with a, you start <laughs> optimistically and we have music that plays and it's like la 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 and then we take a bite and we go oh and then the music goes wah and then it's all about the scoring of the piece. All right, all right. Let me, let me take it from the top. Ooh, okay, a chipotle ciabatta. Focaccia. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, chipotle focaccia. Oh yum, let's try the chipotle chicken sandwich. I don't mind at all that there's a jello cheese on top. No, no, of course not. Let's eat it. Oh. It's not bad, the sun-dried tomatoes are not working for me. It's a very savory, salty sandwich, I think because of this bread again. This bread's really salty. Yeah. So it's a little too intense flavor-wise. It's not very balanced. But I think this would be something you could dip in the tomato sauce soup and it would level it out a little bit because it was a little too sweet. Okay, next up we've got the Napa Almond Chicken Salad. Oh, I'm sure this will be great. I do think this will be good. Let's try the chicken salad sandwich. Got a little grape skin action. Mmm. Tastes like nothing. Yeah, I'm with you. How do I do this? I feel like all of their this kind of sandwich needs chicken sauce or like needs soup. All right, we've got the Smokehouse Barbecue Chicken. Let's try the barbecue, Smokehouse Barbecue Chicken Sandwich. <laughs> It tastes like a barbecue chicken pizza. <laughs> I kind of like it. Yeah, I would get. I would actually. I would order that. Keith, I'm really excited to announce this next sandwich. What is it? It's the classic grilled cheese. Oh, we're we going for it. Crust just peel right off. What are you doing? Playing with it. The crustless grilled cheese sandwich. Let's try it. Mm. There's not enough butter on this. Mm -mm. Are you okay? <laughs> I feel like you're like dying. I'm okay. Oh God, why are you doing that? Feeling it. It feels soft. <laughs> I don't think I think it tastes good as a sandwich, but it's a pretty good beauty blender. What's next, do you think? Uh, you wanna guess? Oh, yes. Okay, hold on. A roast beef sandwich. No. What about that one? You wanna guess? Roast beef? No, it's turkey. Do they not have beef at Panera? The other one is a steak sandwich. Okay. Pretty fucking good guess if you ask me. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at their turkey sandwich, huh? Look at what's happening to these onions. Oh, oh it's so wild. <laughs> what? Is it another B.O. onion? Uh-huh. Body onion? Body onion. Ooh, yeah. Body, 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 onion, onion, onion. <laughs> <laughs> it's got mustard on it. I like mustard. Let's go, the turkey sandwich. Oh, it's onions are from two days ago. <laughs> Not for me. I think it's fine. I think it's definitely, if you're hungry for a turkey sandwich, it's gonna satisfy you. The mustard was kind of out of control. Last but not least, the steak. And white cheddar. And white cheddar. I hate it when sandwiches are like this. Because I don't want just beef and cheese. Like, I want it to, I still want tomato, or I want like a pepper or something. Okay, let's try this. All right. 
This is almost pretty good. It needs to be a French dip. Or a sauce. A sauce. Try it with a sauce. It's actually pretty good. I know it's gonna be good. Well, why don't you wanna give yourself a good sauce? I'm full. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it's better. <laughs> Well, Alex, thanks for dropping by at the menu. What's going on with you, buddy? Well, I'll tell you what's going on with me. Lou Burger things are going on with me. That's right. This July, we've got an awesome show, The Wizard of Friendship. It's a really cool musical that we've been working on. It takes all the cool original Lou Burger music you love and created a fun, fantastic musical out of it. Keith gets to play not only himself, but he also plays a giant bird in a man suit. What? If that's not enough to intrigue you, then I don't know what will. So get your tickets now. Now at Dynasty Typewriter, July 15th. It's gonna be quite the show. We also have a podcast called Celebrity Theme Song, where us and a celebrity meet and write a song about their favorite celebrity, the celebrity's favorite celebrity. We've had Terry Crews, we've had Mari Takahashi. We've had President Joe Biden. That's Maybe right. by the time this comes out, <laughs> we'll find out. Joe Biden. Maybe, we don't know, we he don't know yet. He came and did a song about Miley Cyrus. It was he nice. loves her, party in the USA, and he's the president of the USA, it makes sense. <laughs> it does. Anyway, we got a lot of cool stuff. Make sure you check out Lou Berger on all the socials and Alex Lewis on the socials at I, the number eight, a thumbtack. And one more thing, as as always, if you're a college, a student union, or a private organization and you want Lou Berger to play, email booklouberger at gmail.com. That's probably the most important one. Please do that one. Bye! Bye, Alu. Next up is Flatbreads, and joining me for his first ever appearance on the Eat the Menu table stage is none other than Caleb, the fitness marshal! <laughs> And I'm your first guest with nipples. Yes, we've never had a guest come on the show with their nipples a present. Kayla, explain to people what you do. Oh God, um, I make dance fitness videos for every type of person, every shape, size, body. I just want to get people up and moving and having a good time. We featured some of your videos in the early pandemic when we were doing some fitness stuff. I definitely was doing a lot of your dances then and still love to throw on a fitness martial every so often. It's just fun. Your guys' energy is so contagious and positive. Thank you, Keith. And I love it. And you can see my nipples. Yes, and you get to see his nipples, so. Um, we're gonna start off with the cheese flatbreads. What's your opinion of Panera? I feel like it's kind of like um, like school lunch. Like, you, you, you eat it if you have to, mm. but you'd rather go to Taco Bell. I will say, your description of school lunch feels apt in this moment specifically. This looks like an extra large school lunch pizza. Okay, well, well let's try the cheese flatbread. Cheers. Oh. Sure, I'll put it, yeah. Okay. I would rather have school lunch. It's not bad, but it's really bland. It's so it bland. It does taste like a pita. I'm having world. a bad time. Okay, I'm sorry, well, <laughs> it's gonna get better maybe. I'll tell you what, I don't think you could tell the difference between this and this. Oh, I bet you could. Well, let's find out. Okay, mix them up for me. <laughs> mix them up. Put one in each hand. All right. You're not gonna know. Okay, I can kind You're of You're not gonna know. <laughs> Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. A little papery. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's try the second one. <laughs> you know, Caleb, <laughs> while I can tell the difference, I would say there's not a huge amount of flavor from either. But texturally, it's pretty obvious this one's cardboard. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try the, <laughs> the sausage and pepperoni. Pizza? There you go, here's yours. Thank you! This looks better. This looks way better. Um, the sausage and pepperoni flatbread. That is good school pizza. Very good school pizza. Mm -hmm. It even has that weird dry crumbly nature that school sausage ha has. I don't love it, but I absolutely adore it compared to the cheese. This one is the margarita. Now I know you enjoy a good margarita. Every time. <laughs> I do enjoy following you, not just for your fitness content, but for your Palm Springs party content. Listen. I feel like your Instagram almost every weekend is fun in Palm Springs with drag queens and bingo. Mm -hmm. And yes. I love it. That's it looks great. like you're having a great time. See, I struggle being a fitness influencer because I'm like, should I be showing this every single weekend consistently? I, but you're a fitness influencer and you, you know, you're making uh, fitness content for everybody. That's true. And I think you're showing that like, you can have healthy lifestyle choices and less healthy lifestyle Listen. choices. It's about being a well-rounded person. I love to drink and I love drag queens. There you go. The margarita. That's a mouthful. It's big. 
It's exploding in my mouth in a bad way. Uh, it's okay. Mm. It needs more salt. There's no salt. There's no salt. Is that supposed to be fresh? Does it's that look fresh? It's a little wilted, Cam. It's very wilted. It's a little wilted. That happens. People pay it's for this. It's being put on a hot pizza. Uh -uh. Steam changes things. I remember the other day that Crocs just shrink in heat. If you leave your Crocs outside on a hot day or leave them in a hot car, they'll shrink within 30 minutes. <laughs> anyway. I spent what? Some... Yeah, look at, if I was just pulled up a picture of a Croc that has shrunk. I mean, that's a good five to six sizes difference. What if you went out on a hot day and as you were walking, your <laughs> shoe just shrank? And also, what would Cinderella have done? if she had worn Crocs. They would have shrank in the search, and then the wrong girl would have been found. That said, the margarita pizza is very mediocre. But how about this? <laughs> Tell me about how you came to do fitness martial. Like, how did you start? Well, I love eating things like this. I hated exercise. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I gotta figure something out. Mm -hmm. So I got to college. I started taking dance fitness classes. Realized that me pretending to be Britney Spears in the mirror when I was a kid, was something I was able to actually do in a workout class. And I was like, oh my God, this is my calling. I heard the angels singing. I felt Richard Simmons and Britney Spears enter my body at the same time. And then they gave me a pop star mic. They let me teach a class. And that's 10 years ago, I've never stopped. That was it. Uh, this pepperoni pizza is better than the cheese, but uh, not as good as the sausage and pepperoni together. It's not bad. Kayla doesn't like it. You know, is it obvious? <laughs> okay, <laughs> we have one more pizza and it's the most unique it's the Chipotle pizza. Oh! Whoa! That's fun. This looks like Panera. Yeah. The sauce zigzagged across. Personality. Somebody Look had to it. zigzag that sauce. I'm excited about this one. This one I'm is the most excited. exciting one. I think we should go in the middle because the most concentration of toppings lives in the middle. That's the piece I was going to go for. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. So let's try the All Chipotle right. pizza. I'm not mad about this one. This is what it should be about. You know, I want only non-traditional flatbreads from you. I want like a steak and blue cheese flatbread. I want yeah. like, oh, go for it. Just go mm. for it, baby. Todd, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Go for it. You're Panera. You can do it. You did it. Do a breakfast pizza. This isn't you. Sausage and eggs. You're trying to be someone you're not. Come on. Uh, so what's going on with you? What's what's next? You got any cool things coming up? Oh, God, right now we are doing um, YouTube memberships full time. So we're doing oh, wow. our tours now. We're just doing live streams every single week. Mm -hmm. So now we have people doing that with us. Um, and I post that on TikTok a lot. That's what people really love. And then we're creating our own active wear. So everything I'm wearing today, wait, wait, I have pizza on my pants, but these pants Ooh, are our own joggers. Good. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today on Eat the Menu. Make sure you check out Fitness Marshall on YouTube, on TikTok, everywhere he is. And uh, yeah, check out one of his videos as a workout because you're gonna find them quite addicting and very funny and fun. Thank you. <laughs> you have to leave on camera. Oh, I have to thing. go? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks for dropping by though. Wow. Wow. <laughs> the next things we have are the Patreon tray. But before we get to the Patreon tray, we have to eat the sides I keep forgetting and Desiree has literally put in front of me for the last 20 minutes of this video and I keep forgetting. So I'm very quickly gonna try the apple. <laughs> I don't know what brand it is, what flavor apple is, an apple. It's not the best apple I've ever had, but it is an apple indeed. <laughs> I'm gonna try the other apple. Mmm, <laughs> it's slightly better than that one. That's just how apples go. Panera Zone Kettle Cooked Chips. Mmm. They're good. It tastes like the Cape Cod brand. We did it. Next up is the Patreon tray, and joining me is our very own head of our Patreon relations, Jake, and also today's producer of Eat the Menu, Alexandria. Welcome to the Eat the Menu Temple Stage. Oh, <laughs> Alexandria looks normal and Jake is a piece of bread. Or are you a Jake sandwich? Oh, I'm a Jake sandwich. Mm. Ah, I need some peanut butter. <laughs> mm, peanut butter and Jake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are we doing for the Patreon tray? One of our Patreons, Sarah, she actually wanted us to mix together mac and cheese and the French onion soup. Oh. Yeah, I feel like it could be kind of good. I like onions. Wow, this French onion soup in the cup is so different than the French onion soup in the bread bowl. <laughs> it's soup. It's very different. I'm gonna actually, just really quick, retry <laughs> the French onion soup for the first time as soup. It's definitely better <laughs> when you get it like this. Oh, what's... That's the cheese. Where are you, where are you from? 
Georgia. Georgia. The uh -oh. South. The South. The Dirty South. The Dirty South. Dirty Georgia. <laughs> Those Atlanta rappers. Usher. Can you rap? I love Usher. I can rap. Yeah! Wanna rap something for <laughs> us? Here you go. Please. Three. On the mic is the king, so listen to me sing. He wants a number three super size on your ring. He can cut in the house, no ankle bracelet on, but he got two strikes, so don't get his order wrong. That's it. That was amazing. <laughs> All right, everybody, get yourself a little fork full of this onion uh, cheese thing. Sarah, thanks for your recommendation. Let's try the Patreon trait. Wow, the way that the this is hanging off really looks like saliva. Yeah. <laughs> really, really looks like a little spider web. Let's Cheers. try it. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's actually really good. That is good. Most of the time the Patreon trays are just sort of pranks on me. Mm -hmm. This one's good. It's time for the just desserts. We got six different desserts. Mostly they're cookies or cookie-esque things. There's a brownie in here too. I'm looking forward to it. The tulip cookie. It's dry. But it's not unpleasant. It's really lemony. I don't, I don't mind it. It's okay. I wish it was a one bite cookie and not this much. I can never eat this much of that cookie. The oatmeal raisin berry cookie. It's got raisins and berries. Do you remember when people thought craisins were healthy? Are they not? Are they too sugary? It's just like they're all, it's just oil and sugar. There's oil in a craisin? Should I Google it? Alexandria, look at that. That's where Alexandria was. I know you did that. I just kind of like sort of pretending you're Alexandria because that's where Alexandria was. I don't think there's any oil in a craisin. Well, 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 she looks it up. Let's have the craisin raisin berry, the raisin berry cookie oatmeal. It's a morning cookie. Mm-hmm. Mm. It kind of tastes like um, fruit cake around the holidays, but not terrible. Mm -hmm. Do you have the results for us? Here's the results. So for a craisin, it's cranberries, sugar, and refined sunflower oil is used as a processing aid. See? But it's the third ingredient. So there's oil. Like yeah, but it's not an ingredient. It's, a, <laughs> there's oil. it's something that helps with this process. I guess we're both right. <laughs> and maybe just you are. <laughs> the brownie. It's a good ice cream brownie. And that's what it's missing, it needs ice cream. I like the chocolate chunks in it. Yeah, it's fine. It's pretty good. I'm really a brownie snob. I think you had a long day and you're not appreciating how good this brownie is. That's possible. <laughs> Let's move on to this. Uh, Ooh. These look adorable. Oh. It looks like a, cool a cookie. like a ball pit got baked into a cookie. Oh, I wish I was in a ball pit right now. All right, let's try this uh, candy cookie. Candy cookie. Bad. That's really bad. I thought it was really bad. It's just boring. It's really bad. Well, I think you've had a long day. You're not appreciating it. Okay? You know, the I... cookie tastes like nothing, and these little fake M and M's are like. There's a weird texture to them. You know what's sad though? These remind me of my childhood, so I think I'll always like a cookie like this. Do you have a bland childhood? I do. <laughs> I do. He said his family was crazy. We were so <laughs> crazy. We like bland cookies. Let's move over to the chocolate. Chipper cookie. Oh, this is a good chocolate Ooh, that looks chip cookie. Good. This is a chocolate chunk cookie. Yo, I've been good for the past like two, like five days. I'm trying to be healthy, and this is just not working for me. Jake, look at you. I'm trying to be healthy. You're a slice of bread. <laughs> <laughs> so let's try the chocolate chippy ch chocolate chocolate chipper cookie. It's a little tougher than I imagined. It should be softer. My chocolate flavor is there. I'm kind of disappointed in y'all's opinion. I kind of like the chocolate cookie. We, people are different. And especially, you really should, all my takes on sweets, you should throw out the window because I don't eat Are you not a sweet person? No. <gasps> Keith, what? No, I think it's a waste of time. If I could order a chicken strip for dessert, I would. One last one. It's the kitchen sink cookie. This looks like that a better is, version of that cookie. This looks wow. like just a better version of the cookie we just had. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. It is crazy. Wow. The kitchen sink cookie, the last cookie. Let's have it. Wow. So soft. Mm. So rich. It's a little too sugary for me. Salty. It's pretty Sweet. good, but. Caramel. Gooey. Crunchy. Dry. Wet. Yeah, this is the it's best of the salty. cookies, but we've had so many cookies that now I'm just like this. Is cookie fatigue. Yeah. I think this would be good with some vanilla ice cream. Ooh. Anyway, thanks so much for joining us. Um, it's great to see you. You look good. You got a nice tan. Thank you. Very hot. And yeah. you as well. Didn't dress up. I wore my nice sweater. 
Alex, you made me wear this, by the way. I asked you if you wanted to, and I was gonna wear it if you, you told didn't me I was want gonna get to. fired if I didn't wear this, so I had to wear it. Well, now you won't get fired. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. That's true. All right, thanks for joining me. Bye, guys. Bye. And now it's time for the breadst and the least breadst. <laughs> you guys get it. So let's start with the least best of the day. I think. In general, the least best section was unfortunately the sandwiches, only because I found the sandwiches to be so bland. All of them lacked flavor in a specific direction. So I like that classic chicken sandwich, the signature sandwich. It was good, I, really well balanced. I could have used pickles, but otherwise thought it was pretty darn good. The salads as a whole were probably one of the better sections, excluding the worst item entirely on the menu, which is <laughs> two cups of fruit on lettuce. Not a salad. The best section by far were the pastries. The pastries, to me, are really the reason to go to Panera. And I always thought of Panera as a soup and sandwich and salad spot. It's not. It's a pastry place. It's a bakery. And of course it is. They were founded on making bread, and pastries are just different bread. But my favorite single item probably was just one of those croissanty things at the top. Maybe the thing I called daddy cake. It brought me memories that I enjoyed. Oh, and that bowl, there was one bowl that just slapped. That sort of Baja bowl, I had a Baja blast. It was great. But make sure you check out our other channel, Second Try, and see some of the goofy stuff going on over there. And make sure you join our Patreon if you want even more content. It's a really great community. There's lots of extra bonus content there, and just a, a lot of, a place to engage with a lot of other fans. We love it there, it's dope. Check out all of our stuff. What are you doing? If you got an hour to spend watching me eat, you got some time on your hands. We got more stuff for you to watch, baby. That's right, this is Beneath the Menu. I'm Keith Aversberger. We'll see you next time. Make sure you get yourself some hot Sauce. Before the video ends, don't end the video yet! Before I end the hot sauce, don't end- You know, my doctor said that my erectile dysfunction might be because of the gluten. Or it's so funny that something with a strong rising agent would prevent the very thing you wish it to do. Exactly, that's what I said. Crazy. That's what I said to her. That's what you said to her? The doctor? Nah. <laughs> okay. <laughs>